In this video, we're going to be going through the worst first of the vintage collection clone troopers. <laughs> Hi there, Star Wars collectors, and welcome to another Bosk's Bounty video. And as I mentioned in the intro, in this video, we're going to be going through all of these Star Wars the Vintage Collection clone troopers and clone trooper officers and ranking them from worst to first. Now, as always with these videos, I always rank them with a combination of how I feel about the figure and the card back, because obviously the card back is pretty important to the Vintage Collection. And I know some people just keep things carded. Other people like the figures as well, have to have them loose, and that's absolutely fine. I actually do both. So for me, I'm going to be ranking these on a combined score. I currently have 18 clone troopers or clone commanders in my possession from the vintage collection and we're going to be ranking them right now. So if you do happen to enjoy the video, don't forget to drop a like down below because that really helps the video and the channel. And of course, if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell for notifications so you don't miss any future videos. And with all that being said, let's get straight on to number 18. Okay then, so in 18th place, we have Clone Commander Wolf from the Clone Wars. And I don't know, this might come as a bit of a shock to you, but basically this for me is the worst one out of the lot. And it's probably got more to do with the figure than the car back, because the car back looks pretty good. He looks pretty awesome on there, doesn't he? With the background and everything going on there. It looks pretty decent. He, he, he pops on the card back. But for me, the figure was just unforgivable, really. When it was first announced, I was so chuffed that we were going to be getting a Commander Wolf. But essentially, the figure itself is based on that old sculpt that nobody really likes. The little antenna thing on his shoulders, way, way too thick. And it's just not a great figure. The, the karma's awful. The guns don't fit in his hands properly. They just fall out. The only saving grace really is the car back and, of course, the helmet. But I even think the helmet might even be like... A repaint of something else uh, that we've had before but clone commander wolf from the clone wars for me is the worst out of all of the clone troopers or clone commanders that we have in the vintage collection now saying that i do like all of the card backs and all the figures but i'm ranking them and this one unfortunately is the worst moving straight on to 17th place we have captain rex from the clone wars and once again for the same reasons about wolf this one really, really annoyed me because we kind of knew that Captain Rex was coming to the Vintage Collection for quite a while. There was rumours everywhere. And then when he was finally revealed, that's the one that they gave us, the old one from the Black Series, 3.75 inch Black Series, where he doesn't have a removable helmet. The helmet's on the little bit of the small side. I mean, don't get me wrong, just standing there, he looks okay. But man, they could have done so much more with this figure. And of course, with Captain Rex, you need a removable helmet. I mean, he spends most of the episodes in the Clone Wars without the helmet on, speaking to Ahsoka and people like that. And yeah, for those reasons, that's why he's so far down the list. I mean, the card back's a lovely card back, don't get me wrong. I love the pinks and the purples going on on the card back, and he's in his, like, signature pose and everything, which is pretty cool. But, man, the disappointment of when that figure came along was, was too bad that it had to go down into 17th place. And in 16th place, we have the 41st Elite Corps, clone trooper he is vc145 and i believe this was the first clone trooper that we got in the vintage collection 2.0 and this one was a little bit disappointing for a number of reasons once again it was a repack of a previous figure from the 3.75 inch black series but of course they were using the new body and i think this one's a bit disappointing at the time because this would have been a great opportunity to update the clone trooper from the ground up because a lot of people know my thoughts about this particular sculpt with the phase two helmets. It is on the skinny side. It is on the sort of animated style uh, in terms of the skinniness. And obviously that makes the helmet too big and things like that. But, you know, it's a pretty good car back. He looks all right, but we've had the figure before. They just updated him to correct him. I think it is even the third time that they had to bring this figure out to get him right. And finally, I think they caught him right anyway. He's on that Revenge of the Sith card looking pretty cool. But as I mentioned before, I like them all, but... I'm ranking them and this one is in 16th place. Moving on to 15th place, we have the standard phase two clone trooper from Revenge of the Sith. This one's a very early one, VC-15, I do believe. Let me just double check. VC-15, yep, absolutely. And I've never been a massive fan of this figure. It has its discoloration issues. You can see there the helmet of mine's a little bit off white compared to the rest of the figure. Even his leg there is going a little bit off-white as well. And of course, this sculpt is the sculpt that they used before they updated it to VC45, which is the sculpt that we're still seeing to this day. Um, 
I think he might be on the little bit of the short side, but in terms of the proportions, I actually prefer this figure to the VC45 in terms of the body and in terms of the uh, scale of the helmet and everything. But at the end of the day, the figure is pretty much out of date. And as for the card back, I don't know. I've never really been a fan of this card back, even though you've got the cool gunship in the background there. I don't know. It's just a little bit boring. But as I say, it's more about the figure as to why this figure's so far down in the list. Next up in 14th place, we have Oddball, which is the clone pilot on the Revenge of the Sith card. And the more I think about it, I'm really wondering why this one's so far down in the list. Look at that card back. What a beautiful, beautiful card back there. It is kind of superimposed, photoshopped, but you can see Tamura Morrison there in the clone pilot's outfit looking pretty awesome. And you've got the Arc 170s flying around in the background as well. So it is a pretty decent card back. I think maybe it's more to do with the figure. I mean, if we look at the figure here, I do have one loose. He is lacking in articulation in a number of areas, but at the end of the day, it's a pretty good looking figure. But uh, I think there's just better ones out there. In 13th place, we have the 212th Battalion Clone Trooper, the Phase 2 Clone Trooper. He is VC-38, and this one essentially suffers with the same issues that the VC-15 Clone Trooper suffers with in the fact that it's the old sculpt and suffers with the discoloration. You can see that the helmet there is really, really yellow. So much so, in fact, that I actually display him without the helmet. I think there's just no point having that helmet on there. I do believe that there was a carry forward of this figure where they corrected that and sorted out the discoloration of the helmet, but I've never actually seen that figure anywhere on eBay or anywhere like that, but I'm sure some of you guys out there have got it. But essentially, the card back for this one as well was always a bit like i don't know overexposed or something oversaturated a little bit yellow so this one is right down there in 13th place in 12th place we have one of the brand new figures it is vc 213 it's the arc trooper captain from the clone wars cartoon and this one is sort of in the middle of the list because essentially it's an animated card back they kind of don't fit in with the rest of the figures but having said that they do look great um, there he is on the card back there, the Arc Trooper Captain, or as we know him, Captain Fordo. And here is the figure looking pretty awesome. I think I possibly may have put this one further down the list because essentially he is missing a lot of his accessories that he came with, with the uh, VC-54 Arc Trooper Commander figure. And for that reason, he gets some points deducted because even though it's a great figure, he's missing half of the stuff that he originally came with. But the card back's great, but there are better ones in the list. In 11th place, we have VC-45, the Clone Trooper from Attack of the Clones. And essentially, this figure is the figure that all other Clone Troopers from this point onwards uses that sculpt. And it's a pretty good sculpt, as I mentioned before, on the skinny side. But I think it looks a lot, lot better with a Phase 1 helmet. So when they use this body for the Phase 2, the, the helmet being oversized always makes the figure look out of proportion but with phase one he looks great really really good you can almost forgive how skinny he looks when he's got his phase one helmet on the card back looks great of course and we've got again the gunships in the background that looks like a scene straight from taken straight from the movie and uh, yeah it's a great card back great figure but for me middle of the road there are lots of ones that are better in the clone trooper lineup and in 10th place we have the atrt driver vc46 on the revenge of the sith card and this one is a is a great looking one i've got to be said and we're getting to the top 10 now so it's hard to split them but this is one of my favorites actually as it goes in terms of the card back look at him there riding his atrt he looks flipping awesome doesn't he and to be honest these weren't seen much in the film so to get a figure you know in the vintage collection for something that's in it for such a short period of time it's awesome i wish they would do that nowadays but there he is, looking pretty awesome. The figure's great. And uh, there's the back of the card, VC46. And yeah, just a nice card back. Decent one to have in the line. In ninth place, we have VC60, which is the Clone Trooper 501st Legion on the Revenge of the Sith card. Now, the 501st are my favorite clones, but unfortunately, the card back lets this one down ever so slightly. I think it's a little bit dull. Could be a bit brighter. You could have got a better image of the 501st Clone Trooper, in my opinion. Uh, but there he is in action there. I think it's, that's at the uh, Jedi Temple, isn't it? But also the figure, of course, this is one that I was talking about where it's the, you know, the VC-45 body with the Phase 2 helmet and it just looks that, you know, just slightly too big. They are going to be reissuing this figure this year or next year, rather, 2022 in one of the waves. VC-60, they'll be reissuing him. So it'll be a good opportunity to get a bunch of these to create a little army, which is something I definitely want to do 
even though he has the oversized helmet. In eighth place, we have VC-110, the Shock Trooper on the Revenge of the Sith card. And this one was very, very difficult to choose between this one and the VC-60 501st, because essentially they're the same figure, just repainted. Once again, uses the VC-45 body with the oversized helmet. But I, there's something about the Shock Troopers and something about this card back. That is Mustafar in the background there, isn't it? And he just looks awesome, doesn't he? slightly out of focus but it really doesn't matter what a card back that is anything with fire or anything on it usually really makes it pop and there he is vc 110 as i mentioned and uh, yeah it's just a great looking card back always looks good on the wall this one in seventh place we have vc 172 arc trooper fives so this is one of the arc troopers that came in the three pack he was the first one that we got separately on a card back and I do like this card back. I do like the fact that they've got Tamura Morrison there, you know, without the helmet on and everything. You can see his face. And I like the way they've got everything arranged in the bubble with all the accessories and everything. And there's no doubt about it. These are these are brilliant figures. The detail on them are really fantastic. And of course, the new head sculpt. Really, really good. As I mentioned, VC172 there. And yeah, really, really nice on those Clone Wars cards. If you think about the, the previous figures that I mentioned at the very beginning of the video, when you look at the Commander Wolf and the Captain Rex and compare those figures to these figures, there's just no contest. And that's why Arc Trooper 5s is so high up on the list. And in sixth place, we have the other one, which is the Arc Trooper Echo VC176. And of course, we're just waiting for Jesse now from that three pack. But once again, superb figure. And there he is out of the, out of the bubble, if you just want to check that out. What a figure that is. Really, really cool. And uh, the card back's great. I actually prefer that card back to the fives card back. Not really sure why. I just think I prefer seeing it with the with the helmet on on that one. He looks good. Really nice card back and everything. And as I say, it'll be really interesting to see what they do with the Jesse figure and how they do that card back because I think they'll have to have that one without the helmet on because of that amazing tattoo that he has on his head. All right, we're in the top five now of the worst to first clone troopers in the vintage collection and. In position five, we have the Arc Trooper from the Clone Wars. Now, I much prefer this one to the Arc Trooper Captain. I think the card back with the blues just, just really does pop. And I actually prefer the color scheme on the blue Arc Trooper as well. Don't worry too much about the dodgy paint job on my particular sample. It's just, I think that might be like a one-off. I've seen quite a few other people that have managed to pick this figure up now on Instagram and everything. Yak Face, for example, Jason, his ones are absolutely fine really nice and straight so i think i've just got a bit of a bit of a dodgy one but having said that what a what a lovely figure with the soft goods karma and everything there is some inaccuracies about the figure but i really don't care it just looks great and to have a bunch of these is going to be absolutely awesome and as i mentioned before the card back just really really does pop for me he is vc212 and if you haven't checked out my review of him that is on the channel as well and in fourth place, we have VC-109, which is the Clone Trooper Lieutenant on the Attack of the Clones card. And again, for the same reasons of that previous Arc Trooper, this card back is just beautiful. Look at that. Look at the way he pops with the blue markings on his Phase 1 armor. I actually prefer Phase 2 clones in general, but this one just looks absolutely fantastic. Really, really lovely looking figure there. On the Attack of the Clones card back really really nice there's plenty of others that we could get from this we could get the uh, the yellow version which is the i believe that will be uh clone commander ponds he's in attack of the clones vc 109 uh we could get the sergeant which is the green one i think that came out in the black series 3.75 they could repack that into this line no problem at all give us more clones but this one yeah he's in my top five he's in position four clone trooper lieutenant what a fantastic card back all right, then we're into the top three now, and this is VC-43, Clone Commander Gree, and what needs to be said about this one? Look at that card back. What a fantastic image of Commander Gree on that Revenge of the Sith card. I absolutely love it, and I love the figure as well. My figure actually is the uh, Legacy Collection version, I believe, so it is quite an old sculpt, but it is a great looking figure, and the helmet doesn't look oversized. It looks really good, and it is removable. So there he is. And it's just a wonderful figure and card back combo. And it deserves, in my opinion, to be in the top three. One of the better ones. And as I mentioned, yeah, VC143. Sorry about the glare there. But look at that. What a fantastic image that is of Commander Gree. Just brilliant. Looks great on the wall. 
and he's in third place. In second place, we have the Ark Trooper Commander on the Expanded Universe card, VC54. And this one's always high up in any list that I do because it's a, it's a great looking card back. And of course the figure, you get so many accessories, it's two figures in one, phase one and phase two. And it's probably why I ranked this guy on that Clone Wars card back, you know, a bit lower in the list because essentially you're getting half the figure that you would in that one. Um, superb card back, looks really nice. Expanded universe, you're probably never gonna get expanded universe cards ever again. So that's another factor, VC54. And as I said, he is high up in many lists that I do, depending on what I'm doing. But in terms of clone troopers or clone commanders, there aren't too many better. In fact, there's only one better. I'm going to get onto that one right now. And here it is in first place. Who else could it be? It's Clone Commander Cody on the Revenge of the Sith card. He is VC19, quite an early figure in the line. But I don't think you can better that card back. I mean, he he is high, high, high up in my list of all time vintage collection card backs let alone just the clones so for me he had to come very very high up in the list and look at that card back just fantastic straight out of the movie where he's talking to Sidious just about to get the order to execute order 66 and the figure itself is great as well full of accessories you do get the little thing there of the hologram if they're ever going to re-release this figure I do hope that they update it in some aspects though I mean the the head sculpt isn't the greatest uh, very plain. It does need updating that. I mean, imagine this with a head like you get on the Ark Troopers. That would be absolutely fantastic. Um, but yeah, the helmet's a good scale. He looks great. This could do with being ever so slightly thinner, but of course it would probably break if that's the case, but at least it's not as bad as the Commander Wolf one, which is just god awful. So there you go. He is number one in my list for the worst of first of all of the clones and clone officers from the vintage collection. I don't think you can better that one. He is just an absolute all time classic. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I'll be interested to know your thoughts. How do you rank them? Which one's your favorite clone from the line and which one's your worst? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching this video, of course, as always. And thank you once again to my Patreon supporters and channel members, your support is greatly appreciated. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Drop a like down below if you've enjoyed it. And of course, as always, we'll see you on the next one.